Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I just got back from Wisconsin fishing Lake Michigan where my kayak sat at the dock for days on end. It's a totally different body of water, even though they are connected along the way. Uh, so the first thing that I wanna do now that I'm back in town in my own fishery, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prepare my boat. I need to disinfect my boat and prepare it for fishing my waterways again. The key thing to remember is clean, drain, dry. I have a two gallon garden sprayer here and I've done the math. Um, what you wanna do is, is a 4% uh, bleach disinfecting solution. Uh, so you take two gallons of water times 4% and that's gonna give you around 10.5 ounces. Uh, this is an 11 ounce bottle of Clorox bleach. I picked this up at the dollar store as well as just a, just a regular sponge and a couple little cleaning utensils. One to scrub, one to get it in the scuppers. Um, all this for less than five dollars. Uh, the important thing is I'm going to make sure that I don't have any hitchhikers. I don't have any invasive species that are going to come along the way from the Wisconsin side of Lake Michigan and get into our waterways. Yes, they are connected along the way, but I'm not trying to speed up the process. So we're gonna just take the time, clean the boat, disinfect the boat, and I'm gonna show you how. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, there's a fill line here. Um, I'm gonna fill it up to the fill line and then I'm going to add the bleach. The reason that I'm gonna do that instead of adding the bleach and then filling it is because that's gonna constantly mix that bleach and I don't wanna be breathing that in. So I'm gonna just add water up to that fill line, then I'm gonna add the bleach. Once I put it together, I can shake it up and mix everything. But it's bad for your lungs, you don't wanna breathe that stuff in. Okay, we're at the two gallon fill line. Um, this is 11 ounces, it's just over, it's about a half ounce over um, 4%, uh, but that's not gonna hurt anything. If anything, it's gonna be helpful. So I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in, easy math, I don't have to dirty any kitchen utensils. And we'll go ahead and put that in the recycling. And just gonna rinse that in there. Screw that down tight. Give it a shake. And then you're gonna come up here. Pump it. And get some pressure behind it. There we go. Nice even stream to it. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna go ahead and just hose this kayak down, just rinse it down. We're gonna take our 4% bleach solution using the garden sprayer and we're gonna spray it, try to get an even coat, try to get even coverage and make sure that we hit everywhere. We're also gonna spray our gear, the pedal drive, the lower end, um, the torpedo motor, all that was sitting in the water as well but not just sitting in the water, it was used in the water. So we're gonna go ahead and disinfect that stuff as well. Once we get that rinse down, we're gonna go ahead, use our garden sprayer and spray everything. Spray the hole, spray it down. Make sure you get very good coverage. Try to overlap. This, the bleach solution, is what's gonna kill any microorganisms on the side of this kayak. One ounce of prevention is worth a million ounces of solution. So remember that when you're cleaning your kayak, if you can kill a microorganism that is not yet in your body of water, you can prevent some potential nasty stuff in the future, or at least prolong it. Get the scupper holes real good. We're also gonna come on the inside of here, get the backs, because water splashes over, gets in here. We'll make sure we get everything, get the scupper holes real good.
once you get that area, you want to come back with just the soapy water mixture. Just rub it down, get the coverage, make sure you knock off anything that's on the on the hull. Another thing you want to make sure you do is pull your scupper plugs. Pull these out. You want to clean these off. Any kind of moss or anything like that that's growing on them. You want to get all this all this extra crud. You want to get that out. We're going to scrub all this down. Spray all this. Get in all these nooks and crannies here. And then you take a tool like this. Basically a bottle brush. And you can stick it right through and clean that scupper. And then you can come through the bottom and get that real good. So you can just get in there. You can just get in there really good with that. So remember that sponge that we picked up, just that simple car wash sponge. I sprayed some water in my hole to rinse the uh, Clorox bleach solution down. And now we're gonna take this sponge, this simple, simple sponge, and just soak up the water. These sponges work amazing. And then what you can do is you can leave that inside your hull so that when you get done with the fishing trip, if you have any condensation, any kind of water in there, you can use the sponge to get it out. The last step is dry. So we've already cleaned it. We've already drained it. Now we're gonna let everything dry. Once it's dry, we're gonna go hit the water and we're gonna catch some hometown steelhead, some hometown walleye and break this bad boy in right. We're also gonna do the same thing to the trailer because we did back down the trailer into that body of water. Um, trailers, you know, they pick up stuff off of the bottom of the boat ramp. Stuff grows on the carpet, around the tires. We're just gonna go ahead and, it's better to be safe than sorry. We're gonna go ahead and spray this down as well. It's only gonna take us a couple extra minutes just for the extra protection. Make sure you spray that carpet down really, really good, all four sides. Why do we take the extra time to do this? It's because an ounce of prevention is worth a million pounds of solution all right guys don't forget when you're traveling from place to place just take a moment a couple of dollars disinfect your kayak disinfect your vessel clean drain dry protect our fishery this fishery that you and i both love all right guys i'll see you on the water